The saga started more than a decade ago. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kosloff with a closer look back at the case against Blagojevich and how he ended up in prison. It was damp and dreary on December 9, 2008, when federal agents entered Governor Rod Blagojevich's North Side home, arresting him for corruption and raiding his campaign office. The conduct would make Lincoln roll over in his grave. It marked the beginning of Blagojevich's long legal battle as he faced two dozen corruption charges for exchanging political action for campaign contributions, charges he denied from day one. I want to say this to the people of Illinois. I have not let them down. Federal prosecutors claimed otherwise, accusing Blagojevich of five schemes in which he hoped to make that trade. The biggest? Trying to sell President-elect Barack Obama's vacant Senate seat with some of the evidence found in wiretaps. I mean, I, I've got this thing. And it's golden. And I, I'm just not giving it up for nothing. The charges led to the second term governor's impeachment and to a frenzy of national pretrial appearances, including this pistachio commercial. Rod Blagojevich does it innocently. Late night with David Letterman. Will my hair get along with Trump's hair? And celebrity apprentice with notably Donald Trump. I gotta say, you have a lot of guts. But Blagojevich's arguable grandstanding didn't sit well with the government. These remarks, directed at U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald two months before his first trial, didn't help. I'll be in court tomorrow. I hope you're man enough to be there tomorrow, too. After 11 days of deliberations, a jury found Blagojevich guilty of lying to the FBI, but Judge James Zagel declared a mistrial after jurors couldn't reach a verdict on 23 other counts. Trial two began the next spring. That jury convicted him on 18 counts. Zagel later sentenced him to 14 years in prison, rejecting Blagojevich's assertions he hadn't caused any harm. So maybe one of the lessons to this whole story is that you got to be maybe a little bit more humble. On March 15, 2012, Blagojevich left his house to report to prison. Did you get some rest last night? Um, not that much. News crews flew with him to Denver. You guys are staying with me in Denver, you guys going home. Even following him into a restaurant for his last meal as a free man. I got fired by Donald Trump. Yeah. This thing I got to do now is worse. Blagojevich walked into FCI Inglewood early that afternoon. All of his direct appeals, including those to the U.S. Supreme Court, went nowhere. But Blagojevich's connection and references to Donald Trump proved key. When all else failed, he and his wife, Patty Blagojevich, began what some call a direct public plea to President Trump, hoping he'd sympathize and set Blagojevich free. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News.